Good morning, everyone. It's Chris back with another video. I am filming this before I go off to work and thought, I'm going to make this video. It's a Marshall's haul. We stopped into Marshall's over, I look real shiny in the light coming from the daylight. Um, we went into Marshall's over the weekend and um, I found some more stuff. We also went to Ross. We found, um, Adam got uh, some more Christmas presents. We got some more Christmas presents for the grandkids. So when I do my Ross haul, I'll show you what he picked out. I don't know where I was in the store. I was I th probably in the makeup section and Adam went over to toys and he found some really good deals on some cool toys that the um, grandkiddos would like. Uh, I was shocked. Found some good, you know, because a couple of our granddaughters are 10 and 8. And so it's hard, you know, they're in that transition phase. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's always easy to shop for the grandson. Always. He loves dinosaurs, so... I think he got him a big dinosaur egg or something with all these. I don't know. But I'll share that with you in my Ross haul. But I did um, get some things at Marshall's. And I'm just going to go ahead and share them with you. I really like the Marshall store. Uh, I think our store, since it's brand new, it's been hit and hit hard. And they're just not, I think... Um, getting things stocked back up as quickly as possible. I do know they get a truck in each and every day, they said. I think Monday through Saturday. Um, but I just don't think they're getting everything stocked up. But I do want to say this. I've heard Marshalls and Ross are not owned by the same company. But... My Ross and my Marshall seem to have a lot of the same stuff. So just curious. Um, sorry, text messages. Woo! Um, so it makes me curious, you know. They have some of the same stuff. So... I don't know. I wish we'd get a TJ Maxx. I've heard all of you say how wonderful TJ Maxx is. And I've been in a TJ Maxx, I think, once or twice, probably 10 to 15 years ago. But a lot of you have said TJ Maxx. So we have space for TJ Maxx. So if you're watching TJ Maxx, come to my hometown. We've got room for you. <laughs> Anyways, happy 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 day i've had my coffee and i'm gonna make this video then i'm gonna head off to work and just it's supposed to be another beautiful day here in northern indiana in the 70s and then the bottom's gonna drop out tomorrow so darn indiana weather it is what it is i guess it is still springtime so i'll share with you some coffee mugs. I am a coffee mug. I love coffee mugs. And Adam always finds me coffee mugs. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't need coffee mugs. But I do want coffee mugs. <laughs> we saw this one and thought it was so adorable. I just loved that. With the flowers on there. And it was $4.99. And I just thought... You can't have too many coffee mugs. And I just, I, I'm trying to take the tag off as I talk. And it's, I just love coffee mugs. It perks you up in the morning, like this morning. I never do this, never ever. I did it today and I regret it. I hit the snooze button and I must have fell back asleep, soundly asleep, which never happens. And... Boy, oh boy, when that snooze went back off, I felt like I had been hit by a truck. 
And I'm just like, Chris, don't ever do that again. <laughs> I got them, took it off. But that is a mug I got. It's hand painted, 17 ounce mug. I like big mugs. So there's that one. And then this one is the one Adam saw. And I absolutely, I loved it. Oh, no, this isn't the other mug. Where's the other mug? Where, here it is. Here it is. Adam found this mug. This was at the checkout. They really get you at the checkouts, don't they? I love the peanuts. I love it. I love the peanuts. I love Snoopy. Um, Adam saw this. This was $5.99. It's another cute big mug. Look at that. Isn't that darling, darling, darling? I absolutely love it. I just love it. A big cup of coffee, and that was, like I said, $5.99. They get you up there at the front, and this is a Peanuts. Um, it's got the Peanuts tag on it. But I just love that and look at the inside. Look at that. And I love it. So I'm gonna be getting those washed. That's Kai. I hit the coffee mug. He went ballistic. He doesn't like it when we leave. So he knows that I'm gonna be leaving to go to work and he's not happy. Okay, I picked these up, which I thought was a good deal. But then you think about it, it would have been the same um, at the Dollar Tree. But I got one, two, three, four. I got four packs. It's 30 wipes per, per pack. So a total of 120 wipes. It's makeup removing cleansing wipes. So they had them in a pack. I thought that was super duper. I thought, oh, they're $4.99. So five bucks. So if you went and bought four packs at the Dollar Tree, you'd spend the same. So, yep, I bought some at the Dollar Tree, I think, last week, and I really like them, so I've got plenty now. But my Dollar Tree, I've noticed, don't always have the, uh, the makeup removing wipes. They have other wipes, but they don't have the makeup removing ones. So, yeah. So I found this. This is Beauty Concepts Honeycomb Shimmer Bronzer. I'll wear this on my cheekies. This was $3.99. I'll use it as like a blush. So there we go. That's the color. So, so pretty. Very pretty, I thought. Pretty, pretty. I'm just loving having a selection of makeup to choose from each and every day. Okay, this this was $7.99. This is all the shades you need to have. And this is Laura's Essential. This is Laura Geller. I think she was on one of the shopping networks and I know her makeup is very expensive. I've never had any of her makeup, but I saw this. Um, 12 multi finish eyeshadow. You get one highlighter and one blush. And this was $7.99, which I thought $7.99. I don't think you can get Laura Geller makeup that cheap on the Home Shopping Networks. But here are the colors. So, yeah, those are the colors. I thought they were very pretty. And there's my babies up there in that picture. But I just thought, I've never tried her makeup, so I thought I would try it. And for $7.99 for that palette, I think is very inexpensive. So, yeah. And I don't have too much more in the way of Marshall's Hall. But I did find these again. And wouldn't you know it, I grabbed the pair, I got up to the front, and the lady's like, do you remember how much these were? And they tried to look them up. And I said, they're $16.99. I got a pair last week, different color. Um, but another pair of Crocs. 
I got them in black. I thought to have a basic pair of black shoes you can slip on. I can wear these to work. Um, my work environment is very, very um, casual. I mean, very casual. So I can wear these. And I'm going to have to get me some of those uh, charms to put in here. So I did get those. Put those down on the floor. And the rest is probably makeup. So, yeah. I love these. Um, this is Beauty Concepts. This is a lip balm collection. This is cruelty free. And you get all of these in there for $6.99. So, yeah. And I thought that was a good buy. So I picked that up. And I picked another poo up. This is different colors than what I got the last time. Um, in the other eyeshadow palette I got. And here's these colors. They're different colors than what I got before. So I picked that palette up to have. And they had a Prince Disney Princess eyeshadow palette that was not there before. This one is seven nine. This one, okay, this one was seventy nine seven ninety nine also. And the princess one is seven ninety nine. Here are the colors in the princess one. I probably can't get you. There we go. There's the princess collection. And then they had a Revolution makeup, and it's Disney Minnie Mouse. This is a totally different collection that I hauled the last time. This is $9.99. This is what it is. It's like a thick book. Here's the back. And it's an eyeshadow palette. But I want to say, are these blushes? They kind of looked, reminded me of blushes. Yeah. Comment if you think these big Mickey faces are blushes. It says eyeshadow palette. But I would think these are the eyeshadows. Let me know what you think down below here because it doesn't say anywhere. Um, it just says eye or shadow palette is what it says on the back. And the box just says eye shadow palette. Revolution makeup, Revolution London. It doesn't really say. But I'm thinking those are got to be blushes, don't they, in that big part? I don't know. I don't know, but that's what they are. Comment down below what you think. I'm already hot today, and I wore a different uh, foundation today, and I don't like how it's making me shiny. I used that BB... It's what I hauled from the Dollar Tree. It wasn't the sass, Sassy and Chic brand. It was the other brand. I don't like it. It's making me look shiny. I want my Sassy and Chic. Sassy and Chic, I want you back at the Dollar Tree. Please, come back. <laughs> okay. Here is, this was a Nicole Miller, New York, Bare Beauty. And I thought this palette was very pretty. And this is a nude, they named it Nude Eyeshadow Palette. So I like the different shades in there. And I thought, I'm going to get that. It was only $4.99. Um, you can't beat that. I mean, $4.99. 
And then they had some of this lip balm collection. Adam Salton's like, oh, you got to get it. So it's the Beauty Concepts. And see, the Ross carries the Beauty Concepts also. This is Lavender Aloe, Rose Hip, Coconut, and Vanilla Mint. And these are so, so cute. And that was $4.99. And then my last item is Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Jenner. Um, I can't even see that with the print. It is an eyeshadow palette. It was $9.99. I wasn't going to open it. I opened it and I'm like, okay, I like the color, so I'll get it. Um, because I like to kind of bargain shop. Because in here you only get six um, for that $9.99 price. But I liked the colors in this palette. So I had to get it. I thought might as well get that. Because I can totally see myself wearing it. Um, but yeah, that was Kylie Jenner. And that was $9.99 at Marshalls. Right? Yeah. Okay, that's my Marshalls haul. Yay! Time to go to work. I hope you all have a great day. Um, I'm sure I'll have a great day. Just, I told the kids, Monday was terrible. Tuesday's got to be better. That's all I'm going to say. Monday was not a good day. Um, I'm like, I needed another weekend day. So, yes, I do have a Ross Hall. I will have to do the Ross Hall um, for you. Um, hopefully, maybe, probably not tonight. But I'll have to do it another night this week. I'll go ahead and show you, show you the shirt I'm wearing to work today. Here's my shirt. A shirt, shirt. This is a t-shirt also from my friend's boutique uptown. I love her t-shirts. So I'm sporting one of her t-shirts. I have shorts on. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and sandals to work today. That's how casual it is. I'm going to join in in the casualness. So <laughs> thank you all for watching. Please continue to hit that like button. I love being back in the routine of making videos. Absolutely love it. If you're new, tap that subscribe button. Tap that bell so you get notifications when I post a video. Have a great one, everyone. And I'll see you soon with a Ross haul. Bye-bye.